So my good buddy Scott Bice just introduced me to a new plant, chrysanthemums. And incidentally, if you want to check them out, Scott has a small YouTube channel where he talks about his saltwater aquariums. And in one previous video a way long time ago, well, like a year or two ago, he actually did some cool videos where he submerged hosta in his aquariums and got them to grow and got them to stay alive and do very well in there. So go check him out and see what you think. Now I've known about mums for years, but I've never had them myself. And the reason is, as I walk through nurseries and look at them, they're never blooming. For some reason, I always saw them before the blooms would fully open or I just never paid attention to them. I don't know why, maybe I just had rhododendrons on the brain. But one day, Scott and I were talking back and forth and he said, Mike, listen, man, you don't do anything about fall color. And there's so many different plants out there that provide blooms in the fall when we need them the most. So I said, Scott, you're absolutely right. But what do you want me to do about that, man? And he had one word for me, mums. So I did what any red-blooded patriotic American would do. I loaded the family up into the truck and we drove down to the big box store and we loaded up on these. Aren't these absolutely gorgeous? When I got into the store and I saw these, first of all, they weren't in complete bloom. There were a few blooms on them opened up, but not a lot of them. And they looked like the mums I'd always seen in the past, but because Scott told me about them and they were on my mind, I started looking at them and I started noticing them. And you know what? <laughs> These things are beautiful. The other best part about this is it's fall and we've got color. Isn't this gorgeous? So after we got home, I had to do a little reading up on them, especially since a little more time has passed now and they've really started coming into their own. I mean, these things are fully open now and blooming beautifully. What I found was that they're the second most popular flowering plant in the world, right behind one other plant, and you can probably guess what that is, the rose. There are thousands of varieties, and these things have been around for a very long time. In fact, they were first cultivated in Japan in the 8th century, and in fact, these are actually Japan's official seal, or the Imperial Seal of Japan. Once word got out about these in the 15th century, they spread to China and the Chinese people cultivated these flowers as an herb and they would grind them up and put them in tea and they would cook them in their food. In fact, while I was reading about these, I found it odd when I came across a particular piece of information, especially knowing that the Chinese people were using these as an herb and cooking with them. And that is, the flowers of these plants actually contain a compound called pyrethrin. The flowers are ground up, the pyrethrin is extracted from them, and then that chemical is then used in insecticides. I did read on further to find out that it isn't that harmful in mammals, and we count as mammals, so I guess that's a good thing. Now there's one other little fact that I read about these that I thought was very interesting, especially for you houseplant lovers out there, and that is that NASA at one point did a study on these particular plants and found out that they reduce indoor air pollution. So I don't know if it's the flowers or the greens that filter out the bad stuff or the plants that give off the good stuff, but either way, they do the trick. I absolutely love how these things smell. In fact, they remind me of carnations and I tried to find out some information about that. I couldn't find anywhere that said they were related to carnations. If any of you know, put a comment down there below and let me know about that. But there's one thing more that we've got to talk about when it comes to these chrysanthemums. Now this part is going to require a little bit of help from you guys. And here it is. As I was reading about these particular plants, I was getting more and more excited. As you can tell, all the information that I gained from them was absolutely positive and amazing. And I thought, these are just spectacular plants. And my mind started going to work. And I thought I could line the borders of all of my rhododendron gardens with these plants. And then it, they would suppress the weeds. They would keep the insects at bay. They would bloom in the fall. We'd have blooms most of the year, except maybe the winter. They're the perfect plant. However, I found one fact that suddenly popped my balloon. And it's this. Chrysanthemums only live about a max of five years. Now, Scott, you sent me a picture of your yard and you've got a bed of chrysanthemums. And they looked really nice in there. It looked like they were just starting to come out into bloom. You had some yellows and I think a white in there. And they look beautiful. But... If they only live five years max, 
I mean, you gotta keep playing these things over and over and over again? Is that true? One site I went to said they only live three to four years. Now, these are beautiful, beautiful plants, and I intend on planting these around my property, and I will continue on with them because they give some really nice fall color. But for any of those of you out there who have dealt with chrysanthemums, you've got mums around your place, you've grown them for years, you're very familiar with them. Is this information true? I couldn't find anything that said otherwise. Everything was saying three to four years, one site said five years. Oh, that would be really tough. You're planting all these out. You're developing your landscape and then they all die in a few years. But you know, they are beautiful and they do provide fall color. So all that being said, how can you beat that in the fall? Maybe some of you know how I could beat this in the fall. Let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I've got five different varieties of chrysanthemums. I'm falling in love with them. It's fall and I've got tons of color here right now and I'm absolutely loving it. So go ahead and get some chrysanthemums and enjoy the color at the wrong time of year. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna follow along. Oh, and if you are gonna go buy some of these, buy multiple varieties. They look really good with lots of different colors. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.